welcome to WCF checklist in which uh, you can see we have covered a lot of topics like self-hosting, IIS hosting, tracing, creating certificates during the development time. Today our topic is to do the <coughs> internet unsecure client and service that means we will be using no security our binding will use no security at all it means our security level will be none right so how can we do that using a basic HTTP binding you can do it very well right and apart from that we have tracing enabled so we can see over the wire the messages are not encrypted they are very well unsecure and it depends sometimes the situation comes like uh, you don't know any uh, security and extra efforts so in that case you can use this so in order to achieve that what I have done if you move down to my service <coughs> I'm sorry the configuration of my service first of all let me show you my service this is my service pretty simple I got one interface and I got one my service who's implementing that interface so let's check <coughs> the operation contract I'm taking the string from the user and returning the string back all right and if you look at the implementation whatever value you guys are providing me I'm simply returning it back so that's my service now if you check out my previous uh, videos uh, I have shown you guys that how do you host the service in IIS my service is already hosted in the IIS right I can browse my service and I can see very well what is going with my service so this is my service and you can see if I click on it my service is running in a good shape <coughs> right so service hosting has no problem now once the service is ready all I need to create is my client but before we do that uh, let's talk about unsecured as we talk uh, like about uh, this demo is about unsecured transfer right so for that I'm using the basic HTTP binding basic HTTP binding by default does not support a security if you wanna add a security you can add no problem with that and as you can see the ABC address binding this is my binding and this is my contract contract is nothing but I'm implementing I my service interface right <coughs> so I'm up and running my service is good I enable the tracing and my logs are being done at the C drive R share folder and the messages dot SVC log we'll look into that later but right now uh, <coughs> let's see what we got at the client at client and I simply consume the service I can say add service reference I can say discover it discovers my service but no need uh, for that because our service is already in place right and if you check out the app configuration file you can see very well that we are using the basic HTTP binding our security mode is none all the securities down the line are I mean done <coughs> none you can see the address ABC address is my machine name and my service binding is basic HTTP binding and the contract is I my service so contract I mean the client looks good and in the client I'll open <coughs> the program.cs file in which I'm creating an instance of a service okay of my proxy and I'm simply calling client.dowork and I'm saying hi from the basic HTTP binding with no security alright so now let's run this <coughs> so as you can see the output is pretty clear I got the output with no security so like in order to prove what uh, security was there or not so what we can do is uh, we can go to the Archer folder in which I can see the logs <coughs> just double click on that and you can see the log click on messages you can see a lot of things right <coughs> this is my do work method got invoked alright so when I invoke this method I got my messages let me show you one second <coughs> and it, as you can see you can clearly see no security at all given to my messages while transferring the data over the wire right so <coughs> there's no security at, and at the very same time if you check uh, for the response from the server right you can see the server response again <coughs> provides you no security at all the basic what you expected has came back alright <coughs> so I hope you got the idea like uh, when to use uh, the basic HTTP binding can you apply a security or can you not our next video would be we'll be using a basic, basic HTTP binding and we'll be providing a uh, security to messages alright <coughs> and uh, if you like the video please subscribe 